The federal government has honored 100 people for their contribution to Nigeria's development as the nation celebrates 100 years as an entity. Among those given awards at the centenary dinner held in Abuja on Friday include the Queen of England, Her Royal Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, and all former presidents and heads of state. Posthumous awards were also given to Major General Johnson Agui Rossi, Herbert Macaulay, Namdi Azikiwe, Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, Obafemi Awulawo, Amadu Bello, winner of the annulled 1993 presidential election, Moshu Abiola, and late President Umaru Musa Yadudwa. Dignitaries arrive one after the other for the centenary awards and dinner night. The president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, his wife, Vice President Namadi Sambo, and his wife all arrive together. Former heads of state, Generals Yakubu Gawan, Muhammad Buhari, and Ibrahim Babingida were also not left out. A former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, also came in to grace the occasion. Senate President David Mark and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Aminu Tambua, also made the roll call. Taking the stage, the Vice President explained the reason for the gathering. We owe it to ourselves, to the past and the future generations, to tell our story. The story of our experience, our challenges, and most certainly within the continent and the world. Similarly, to underscore the importance of the above, Mr. President further noted that to ignore the significant milestone along the path to this date will be to ignore the essence of our statehood and most importantly, our most critical responsibility for the generations to whom we will entrust the management of our nation. And to settle in more properly are these exciting displays of the nation's huge cultural heritage from both the young and the old. For President Goodluck Jonathan, the 100 awardees are among the several others that have given their all to the greatness that the nation boasts of today. It's extremely difficult to select 100 people from among more than 500 Nigerians that by all intent and purposes qualified to be recognized. We decided to be a bit poetic in that way that when we celebrated our 50 years of independence, we selected 50 people. That is the golden award for our independence. Then for the centenary, we limited to 100 people, just so because of the 100 years. But it was not an easy task. Because if you must recognize Nigerians that have achieved within this period, you have more than 500 that are eminently qualified to be recognized. It's now time for the awards. As past leaders of Nigeria, including former presidents and indeed former heads of state, were the beneficiaries. A great Nigeria devoid of ethnic and religious sentiments is what these group of people gathered here today wish for the country. Indeed, for you. the leaders and the it's people of Nigeria believe that they can make this work.